Okay, so today it's a very different video, all right? Because I made this video on Shobas Firdaus Island and the sort of comments I got was very different. Normally, uh, the comments I'm used to, excellent video, thank you so much, you know, really, uh, a lot of knowledge. But this time people are like, what's wrong with Zaheb? Why is he now speaking about Damak and why is he talking about Shoba? Why is he getting into private developers, what happened? One, I will, I will go by each and every question because I think it's very important to understand why the change in, how do I say, why the change in strategy? See, in 2021, the prices of EMA was different. I still abide by, yes, EMA is one of the best developers, the top developers in Dubai, ah yes, Dubai Holdings and EMA. And in Dubai Holdings comprises of Nakheel, Mirage, Maidan, Dubai Properties, you know, so these, these are very, very strong developers. But see, when I started talking about EMA in 2021, the prices were really different, wasn't it? So what were the areas we were targeting? Dubai Creek Harbor, the payment plans and what Dubai Creek Harbor was selling between 1,800 to 2,200 dirham per square foot. We were looking at ballooning payment plans. We were looking at the outer circle of the island. We were looking at the edge of Creek Beach. We were looking at very specific products that was looking at Creek Tower. Now, the last launch, Palace, the prices were close to 2,800 to 3,000 dirham per square foot. Another area we're looking at was Dubai Hills. Dubai Hills is still a very strong product, but the prices have touched close to 2,500 to 2,700 dirham per square foot. Again, phenomenal product, but the price per square foot climbed. Another product I loved personally, I still love this location. There's a lot more videos and information going to come about this location. That's the Rashid Yachts and Marina, but in totality, because I named it the Golden Belt. I was the pioneer who got this name. A lot of people using this name now, but yes, that is La Mer, Rashid Yachts and Marina, Dubai Islands. Three very strong developers have come together and are developing this location. But now... So when I started talking about this location, Maritime City, the prices, Markasa was 1,800 dirham per square foot, two-year post-handover payment plan. We were looking at a one bed at what, 1.2, 1.4 million. So my strategy is very clear. I look at upcoming destinations. Dubai South, the way the prices have increased, the last launch, Greenways, we're looking at a starting price of 3.5, 3.6 million. I remember speaking to my Singapore, a uh, Singaporean client. I mean, she was re she really wanted a villa on a, on a golf course, and she loves Emar as a community. But she's like, "Hey, you know, I was thinking I'd invest around two and a half million, but now the prices have jumped. I am forced to look into more interesting prices, right? Because of course, it doesn't see if I enter Emar Beachfront at five thousand dirham per square foot, or I enter Valley again, Valley the Heights." are at very good price points, okay? No doubt, it's around 1,000 to 1,200 dirham per square foot. But in the same location, if I can get a better price, again, there's no comparison of the community and I make it very clear. Why do I make Excel sheets? I compare every developer and I give you the pros and cons. I make it as clear as possible. So why Umal Quain? Why am I talking about Umal Quain? Because the prices are still low. What is the difference between, let's say, Mar okay, so that's again getting into the questions, right? Okay, so let's get into the questions, right? And then I'll get a bit more into Umal Quain. But but before I get into it, Umal Quain, like if you miss the boat in Rasul Khaima, now again, Rasul Khaima has gone really expensive. It's, it's close to, the other day I saw a product... Uh, it was not a Nobu. Okay, let's put it that way. It was not a Nobu. And a warm bed was selling at three and a half million dirhams. How am I possibly supposed to trade that product? A one bed at three and a half million dirhams. Now I'll get more in detail about Shoba. I'll be very clear about Shoba. And again, every video of mine, I never speak about a specific developer. It's always a comparative analysis, okay? But let's jump into the questions straight because I promised on my video that, you know, it's 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 9.40 p.m. I started my day at like 7.30 a.m. It was back-to-back -back meetings today. And I'll give you live feedback of a client from the UK today, UK and US. So I'll give you two very important markets. I'll give you live feedback of clients. Okay, so the first comment, uh, so I'm going to post this video on the comments so you understand which video we're talking about. Uh, it's a detailed video about uh, Shoba Firdaus 
island. I went to the location. It was scorching hot, but this is what I do. I always physically visit the location to understand what am I dealing with. To the extent, I even checked if there were any helicopter rides over there, but there were no helicopter rides available. Otherwise, I would have taken an aerial view as well. Now, let's jump into the comments. Okay. Initially, you were laughing at Lagoon. Now you're telling Lagoon is power tool. Smiley face. <laughs> okay, so let me clarify. I think I mentioned that beach is a power tool. Now, let me further clarify. You're getting a beachfront villa and not any villa. It's a Shoba villa. What a Shoba villa is trading at at this stage? The price in Shoba Heartland Estates. Again, nothing close to a beach. In fact, for me, Shoba Heartland, I, I love the floor plan, no doubt. Forest Villas, phenomenal product. It initially was selling around 9 million. Today, we're trading anywhere from about 21 to 27 million dirhams. The rentals are at 1.2 million dirhams. No one's going to pay 1.2 million annual rental for an average villa. It's, it's not that easy. Even Dubai Hills, I mean, it's, why would someone pay 1.2 million dirhams for a villa? It has to be that good. I will further get into Shoba's construction quality. But uh, yes, so a Shoba villa on the beach. How much is a beach villa trading at this stage? Palm Jumeirah, 5,000 to 7,000 dirham per square foot. Where else can we get a villa on the beach? Dubai uh, Islands. Dubai Islands is trading at around 3,300 to 3,700 dirham per square foot. So uh, yes, beach is a power tool. I'm pretty sure anyone would agree this point. And I'll get further into a more specific point, but uh, towards the end of the video, I'll get into more some specific points. Okay, finally, a product about Shoba that you've made a video on. Uh, Nikhil, I met Nikhil today uh, at Shoba. Nikhil, um, I have nothing against Shoba. See, at that particular stage, uh, when I was talking about Shoba Heartland, to be honest, I'll be very frank, I, I think Shoba, Dubai Hills, Dubai Creek Harbor, Rashid Yachts and Marina were all trading at the same price. I felt there was much better opportunity for my investors. See, I'm an advocate for my investors. The better I trade for them, the better network I can create. So I have a vision, a very, very clear vision. I want to connect with as many powerful investors as I can across the world because trading can only occur if you have a powerful network. If you think you can list a property on Property Finder and then just sell it off, it's not going to happen. You need to have powerful connections across the world in order to trade properties. So that is my niche. And so I'm constantly working on expanding my network. PNC Menon is from Kerala. I'm from Kerala. You know, in fact, more specifically, he's from a particular district called Trichur. I'm from there as well. So we're very close by. So technically, you know, we're like, like homies, you know, so I love Shoba. You are so proud you're getting calls from Canada. I am proud that I'm currently the number one trending YouTuber when it comes to Dubai real estate. Most watched, I mean, if you check the SEO score of just Mohammed Zahib, it's really high. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. Worked really hard day and night for that particular uh, point. So it's it's not about Canada. It's from the whole world. Marvelous. Thank you, brother. Lots of investors are going to be left holding bags. Now, it's funny. Fun fact. A lot lot of investors were left holding bags in Dubai, in Ajman, in Ras Al Khaimah, in DIP. But that filtration process has occurred, you know. So again, it depends on which product, which price point you invest in. If you invest in a wrong product in Dubai, you can be left holding a bag as well. Nothing is foolproof. And this can occur in any part of the world. To answer your question, you need a good consultant and you shall not be left holding bags. Initially, you were against Damak, Shoba, Azizi, Indian developers, JVC and other Emirates of the UAE. Now you're promoting the same their standard increased or yours has gone down. And every time you say that you have a European client, but in Dubai, 30 to 40 percent properties are bought by Indian, Pakistanis and Asians. True. So Indians and Pakistanis form about 60 percent of the investor base in the UAE. Very, very strong market. I've explained having just just having India, Pakistan, Bangladesh and Saudi around uh, Dubai is like a cushion. It's a safety cushion because you will always have investors from these countries um, for certain reasons, geopolitical reasons, which I don't want to get into, which is fantastic. I, I was against Damak, Shoba, Azizi. I'm still against some of them, which I don't want to get into any controversies. 
if you watch my previous podcast with Damak, Damak has seriously upgraded. They've changed their contractors. A lot of big developers use Chinese contractors, but now the contractors have changed. The products have enhanced. They have grown with time. And you have to appreciate that. So I, I further dig into, I do my due diligence. And if I find the product worth talking about, I talk about it. Shoba, so fun fact about Shoba. Today I had an investor from the UK. He was originally Pakistani, if that satisfies you. He was originally Pakistani, but again, from the UK. These are, are fantastic. And Indians, Pakistanis from the UK and US, again, very powerful investors, excellent investors. So this guy uh, lives in Royal Atlantis. Uh, he the, It's either Royal Atlantis or it's addressed Dubai Creek Harbor. Today, we saw something out on the palm. He's bought in products like Fairmont, you know, ultra luxury. He prefers ultra luxury. We've gone for some private developers as well. So he even saw the mansion in Damak. So he said, see, the layout is fantastic. He loved the layout. He loved the basement and all of that. You know, it was very, really nice. So, but then when we saw the Shoba, he was like, this is the first product that I've, first good quality construction product that I've seen. Because we went into detail, we went into the the tiles, have you seen the tiles? Like they've used, I mean, it'll be size of this table, the tiles. I know the exact dimensions. I have to get back to you on the exact dimensions. The notebooks are matched. The uh, skirting is unbelievable. Now skirting is something n not every developer can provide really, really good skirting. The And it's all about backward integration, right? So, and you can see that the doors in-house manufactured, the wooden floors, so we we really inspected each and every part. The bathroom fittings by Toto, the kitchen by Millet, the finish, um, the glossy finish of the kitchen. So you know we went into very specific details. The air, the AC filters, they were not the normal ones. He was really impressed. He was shocked. He was like, "This is fantastic." I mean, if we can get a villa like this on the beach, it's a beautiful investment. So to answer your question. It's not my opinion. My opinion does not matter. So that's something I've learned from Dubai. I learn from my investors. So the most beautiful thing about real estate is that I get to interact. For example, today my day started at 7.30. From 10 a.m. I was with investors back to back. Right. So my energy is constantly amongst industrialists, businessmen, entrepreneurs, and that energy, knowledge, I've been blessed to be among such people. And so my knowledge is a reflection of that. I just enjoy, um, that's one of my major reasons why I enjoy this industry. So they inform me. So even this Shoba Firdaus project, this is funny. So I didn't know about this project. I didn't know about Damak Markasa. Because yes, I wasn't speaking with Shoba. So an investor from US, Mr. Syed Shah, so he, he always comments on my videos. He sent me on WhatsApp. He's like, hey, Zohe, what do you think about this project? And I was like, hey, man, it's in Umar Queen. I'm not sure, you know, it's, I'm not sure about this. It depends on the price point. And then, so that night, surprisingly, somebody from Shoba sent me all the details of Firdaus Island. And I was like, this is a coincidence. Like uh, my investor spoke to me of this project. Somebody sent me and I'm like, hey, of this particular project, I'm really keen because this consultant of Shoba has been on my back for the last few months and I've not been responding because nothing appealed to me. And then, so coincidentally, I got this message from US and then this person messaged me the details of the project and I was like, okay, let's look into it. And I studied the project quality i was very clear shoba shoba and ellington shoba ellington to a certain extent omniat these are some of in terms of quality they are they are the untouchables they're really good in quality al barari that's al nabuda as a contractor phenomenal phenomenal quality and shoba in particular if, if you've seen if you've not seen the s tower mock-up you have to see the s tower mock-up I, I if i when i want to show any of my investors quality i do take them to shoba the engineers are german and that reflects onto the property so that is how i stumbled upon shoba to answer your question i think i went very much into details i've explained initially if i compared heartland with creek harbor rashid yachts marina dubai hills imar south uh, not imar south south of Dubai in general, the prices, I, I found better investment opportunities.